Hey everybody and welcome to the Bullshit Party! And in this one we're gonna be taking a look at the new podium vehicle, the JB700W. And as always we're gonna be taking a look at its exterior, its interior, the way it customizes in Los Santos Customs and ultimately the goal of this video is to tell you if it's worth it or not. And with that let's start with the 360 on the vehicle while I give you some facts about it. First and foremost this vehicle is based on the JB700, I know it's a shock but just a weaponized version of it. And it is based on the Boston Martin DB5, which is a pretty, pretty cool looking car in my opinion. In terms of interactivity, this is what you can do with it. You can open, basically just give me a second. You can open both doors, the hood and the trunk. And mm -mm -mm, that's a good looking engine. Now, I am really fond of this car. I am not fond of the fact that it has been on the podium about a year ago, but more on that in just a little bit. For now, all you need to know is that it's a very expensive car, it costs about 1.5 million dollars and you can buy it from the Warstock Cash and Care website, in case you're interested for whatever reason. But uh, that's basically the exterior done, little facts about the vehicle and now let's jump in and listen to how the engine sounds. And here we are inside the JB700W. And first and foremost, the interior is pretty mediocre, so no surprises there. As for the way the vehicle sounds... Yep, that'd be a big oil engine. And with that, we're off to Los Santos Customs, but first and foremost, let's see what type of drivetrain we're dealing with here. And it should come to no surprise that this is in fact a rear-wheel drive vehicle. And now with that piece of information out of the way, let's go to Los Santos Customs and customize this bad boy. And as always on our way there, I'm gonna be sharing with you my thoughts and impressions of the stock version of the JB700W. I don't know why I just keep uh, thinking it's important to mention that this is the W version of it, the weaponized version of the 700. And so far uh, my impressions are that it's very hmm, powerful maybe is the right word to, to describe it. Something that I didn't mention before also is that this vehicle is part of the, part of the sports classics category in GT Online and oh my oh my it has just horrible horrible brakes and uh, just in case you're curious uh, I have reviewed this car before as I said it has been on the podium about a year ago and uh, yeah I don't remember anything about it so that should tell you something probably not very memorable but so far my impressions are acceleration decent top speed decent brakes absolutely horrendous and uh, visuals kind of like them and uh, something else that I want to mention is that this vehicle was released in 2019! Which makes it about four years old as of the making of this video. Actually, three years old. Never mind. Let's see what uh, we can get for it when we sell it. Okay, what a shock. Zero. So let's repair it and upgrade all the performance options up front so we don't forget anything at the end and you don't, you guys don't tell me that I'm stupid again. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Turbo transmission, yes, please. And weapons and etc. etc. Which we're gonna be customizing with the well customization part of the vehicle thingy. Uh, starting with Wow, the first customization item is the license plate. And yes, we still have the old license plates because uh, the new license plates are coming next week. Stay tuned for more. Let's see, we can respray the vehicle, which is something that we're going to be doing at the end of our stay at Los Santos Customs. And something that's very unusual about this vehicle is usually you need an MOC or an Avenger to customize, basically to add weapons to the weaponized versions of the vehicles. But here you can do it in good old Los Santos Customs. And as you can see, you can put spikes or uh, just a slick something something behind the car, if you choose to do so. And you can also lower the suspension which is an interesting option and something that I'm gonna go with just go with the sport suspension and uh, yep this is the primary weapon which which are the machine guns if you know the James Bond movies uh, James Bond always has machine gun on the front of his car for whatever reason I guess it looks cool but in any case I'm not gonna bother I'm not gonna be bothering with those just because I think it's a Complete waste of money. They're not good. I have tried them before, so yeah. So uh, basically, my JB700W is gonna be W less. Moving on, window tint. And uh, yeah, let's just go with the light smoke tint and move on. Oh, that's it? 
Uh, I guess we can customize the wheels, although I really like those. So it's time to, I guess, respray the vehicle. And as always, I asked you guys, the viewers of the Bullshit Party, what color do you want me to make the vehicle in the video you're watching right now? And for this week, most of you suggested Frost White. So guess what color we're going to be making it? That's right. Purple. Nope, we're going to be making it Frost White. Let me just find the color. It's probably somewhere here. Or maybe not. Let's see now, frost white. Yep, there we go. I gotta say, it doesn't look that bad. We can slap a crew emblem on it, which, again, not bad. Now let's just go outside and see what we did. Oh wow, this is just like a completely different vehicle. I can't even recognize it. Is it the same? Co oh, no. So basically, we just changed the license plate color and uh, we slammed the suspension and changed the color of the vehicle. Well, that's lame. Okay. Uh, for a vehicle, by the way, released uh, three, three and a half years ago. Yeah, that's really, 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 really lazy. Okay. So let's see if... Uh... Okay, the vehicle definitely has some torque. I really like that. But other than that, I can definitely say that it's nothing to write home about. The... The way it takes corners is fairly interesting. I don't hate it. And I gotta say though, the best part of the vehicle is the way it behaves when accelerating. The acceleration is great. Top speed, not great even after the customization and fully upgrading it. And the brakes are honestly still horrible. I might have forgotten to just upgrade those, although I don't think I did. But yeah, brakes horrible, acceleration decent, top speed meh, and all in all, handling is, uh... Honestly, it's not bad. Uh, do I recommend this vehicle? Uh, getting it for 1.5 million dollars? Ha ha ha, no. Getting it for free, however, from the Lucky Wheel, which is the case right now. If you're watching the video when the week it was released, and this is the current podium vehicle. And if you're looking to get something kind of unique for basically free, or not even basically, just for free. This is probably not a good, uh, not a bad deal, I was gonna say, but uh, yeah, not good either. I don't know. Make up your own mind. I am honestly just in the middle. I have no idea. I have no idea. Is it good? Is it bad? I don't know. It's kind of mediocre. This is the equivalent of a meh. This is, this is the perfect meh vehicle. I don't know. Any case, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. As always, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing and liking the video. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Now let's go to my garage and park it next to the other one.